pick three promos to save and the rest will be wiped from history. Eddie Brock don't come for me, but the first one I would wipe from history is the Macho Man Cream of the Crop promo. Reason being that every Macho Man promo was special, so wiping one from history will not affect the timeline. Same with The Rock's Armageddon promo. The Rock just always spat hot fire. So him roasting everybody in that Armageddon Hell in the Cell match, if you erase that from history, it wouldn't change the timeline much, because he still would go on to roast each of them individually anyway. Austin 316, you have to keep it. This is what ushered in the Attitude Era. And this is what made Austin a superstar. So you have to keep the Austin 316 pro. Miz insulting Daniel Bryan on Talking Smack. I felt it was petty. He knew WWE would not let him wrestle, but he goes off on him anyway. I don't know if he's trying to get WWE to put Daniel Bryan back in the ring or something, but I hated it. I didn't like it at all. So we're going to erase that from history. Next is the pipe bomb. You have to keep the pipe bomb. I feel like this is what created AEW. Talent was frustrated with booking, but it wasn't really out there like that. I don't know what possessed WWE to actually give CM Punk a hot mic and let him get out all his frustrations, but this, in my mind, is what made AEW start. Wrestlers and fans started looking for alternatives to WWE because it's not giving us what we want. So you have to keep CM Punk's pipe bomb. And I'm also keeping Paul Heyman's one night stand. This is Paul Heyman's last chance to get everything off his chest. His frustrations with WWE and how he hated what they did with ECW. He shut down JBL and he also gave ECW fans a good send off for us to remember him by. Mark Henry's retirement promo. It was a good promo, but all in all, I don't feel like it was important enough to be remembered. Same with AJ's Total Divas promo. They were just trying to copy what CM Punk did with the pipe bomb. So I felt like that was irrelevant all in all. Finally, Dusty Rhodes' Hard Time promo. I'm sure if you were there in the time, this really meant a lot to you. But as someone who was not in that time frame, it meant nothing to me. Out of all these promos here, it was the least polished. And I understand why it was a man speaking directly from his heart. And besides, Dusty Rhodes was one of the greatest. You eliminate one of his promos, he's got many more to give you. To recap, I'm keeping the Austin 316 promo, the CM Punk Pipe Braun promo, and the ACW One Night Stand promo. Those, I feel, were relevant in history, and we needed those. The other ones, I felt like we could have done without them. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, Stitch, or duet this.